Nice to meet you, Sophia. I think it's going to be a short relationship, but pleased to meet you. Sophia, don't ignore me. Richard's wife. Hey. Oh, are you Richard's friend? I'm sorry, he never told me about you. Are you from the company? I'm terribly sorry. Not at all. It's okay. But I'm not his friend. Girlfriend. Huh? Girlfriend? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand? Girlfriend? Well, what do you mean by girlfriend? A girlfriend is a girlfriend. I'm dating Richard. I'm getting frustrated with your lack of understanding. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. You know I'm his wife. Obviously. I don't think you're the one to lose your temper here. Can you explain to me what a mistress has to do with the wife? You're saying pretty terrible things. Okay, I'll explain. I was fooled by him at first. Every time I see him, he tells me he loves me, that I am the only one. He even asked me to marry him. I didn't know my favourite Richard had a wife. But he doesn't see me on weekends, even if I ask. It's the same for Christmas and New Year's holidays. Then you finally realised he's married? Yes, when I asked him, he said he had a wife named Sophia. And you didn't feel sorry for yourself and think about breaking up with him? Huh? How could I think that? You guys should break up. Richard loves me. He tells me that every time we see each other. You poor thing. Huh? He says the same line to me. Maybe he's telling other women too. What? Anyway, you divorce Richard. No. I just got married to Richard. I'm not going to divorce him just because you told me to. Huh. You're so sure of yourself. How long have you guys been dating? It's been almost a year. I'm thinking of getting him to divorce his wife as a gift for our first anniversary. I married him about a year ago. Do you really want to marry a man who, at the same time, is having an affair with another woman? Huh. What a sore loser. If you get married and get cheated on at the same time, it's because you're not attractive. You're frustrated because he cheated on you with a younger woman. Richard doesn't love you. It's ugly that an unloved old woman would cling to a man. Break up now. Oh my goodness, you're just saying what you want to say. Well, I'm counting on it. Hey, Sophia. What do you mean you're not divorced yet? Hey, answer me. So annoying. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? What are you talking about? I told you to divorce him. Why haven't you? I said it before, didn't I? I'm newly married and I can't divorce that easily. Are you stupid? Hey, who's stupid? Richard says he's getting divorced. You just don't want to get divorced. I told you not to cling to him so miserably. I never hear from Richard about wanting a divorce. Anyway, the wedding is in a month and your fussing isn't going to get us a divorce. Huh? Wedding? What's that? A wedding in a month? Yes, that's right. It's almost ready, so I can't divorce now. If you get it, please just give up. Rest assured, the wedding will be between me and Richard. He and I searched the venue together, consulted with the wedding planner and booked the wedding. You are so brazen to have a wedding instead. Don't worry about it. You can get divorced without worrying about anything. You're the one who's giving up. You... Come on. Cut me some slack. Just because you're registered with him, don't get so high and mighty. Even if you don't get divorced, I'll still be with Richard. I'm being kind telling you that. 
A couple that's just a formality won't last long. You should break up with him right away for your sake. Yes, thank you for your advice. I don't need advice from my husband's cheating partner. Don't contact me again. How dare you? Hey, listen. Hey, Sophia. What are you doing keeping me waiting for a week? I told you to divorce him right away, didn't I? Oh, I told you not to contact me again, right? I don't want to contact you either. It's because you're so lazy. How long are you going to keep me waiting? Right now, Richard and I are talking about you and about the divorce. It's not that easy to come to a conclusion. When to divorce is our business, not yours. You stay out of it. I'm involved too. Richard is getting divorced for me. If you don't divorce him, I can't marry Richard. It's annoying. Annoying? How could you say that? Anyway, stay out of the married couple's discussion. If you want to get married, wait until the divorce is finalised. Married couple's discussions. You just want to say married couple. What are you two married couples? Your relationship has been cold from the very beginning. Enough! I'll force you to divorce him. You can't force that, can you? I didn't mean to go this far. It's your fault. Because you're not going to divorce him. I'm pregnant with Richard's child. Do you want to marry him for such a lie? It's not a lie. Don't you feel sorry for the child not having a father? Are you really pregnant? Well, I found out yesterday that I am pregnant with his baby. I'm happy. How about you? You don't have children and you aren't pregnant. Wrong? Well, I don't have children. Did you hear that from Richard? You know that my baby and I need him more than you do, right? I just heard about the wedding from Richard. He said the ceremony is going to be just the two of you with no guests. Lovely. Now do you understand? I need Richard and the wedding, not you. Oh, I hope you just give it to me. All you have to do is get divorced. It's that simple, right? Yes, that might be good. I'll give it to you, Richard and the wedding. Really? Seriously? I'm so happy. You're not going to say you change your mind, will you? I'm tired of talking to you. I have no lingering feelings for someone who would have an affair from the beginning of our marriage. Really? Really? Not only him, but also the wedding? Seriously? Supreme! Generous! Thank you, Sophia. I'm impressed. I promise. I'll be happy for you. Yes, have a healthy baby and a happy family. Good luck. I'm rooting for you too. I'm sorry for being so harsh. You're kind and nice. Not really. If he has a baby, he might change his mind. Morning, Sophia. Sophia, don't ignore me. You're making a lot of noise. What do you want? Do you remember what day it is? Today? I don't know. Oh my God, you do remember, don't you? It's me and Richard's wedding day. Oh, it was today. It's been a month since then. It's fast. Are you preparing for the wedding right now? Yes, this is a great wedding venue. The costumes are perfect and the atmosphere is great. Richard decided on this place? Or you? I mostly made the decision, but Richard agreed. You have good taste. Nice place, right? Yes, it's so gorgeous and heavenly. Sorry, you were supposed to be here now. But you don't have to be sad. I'll enjoy it for you. I'm glad you liked it. It's worth $30,000, isn't it? $30,000? This place costs that much? 
Sorry, you paid $30,000 for us? I've changed the billing address to you two. Huh? Billing? You're paying the bill. What are you talking about? You. Weddings are usually paid in advance, right? So I talked to the planner and got her to change the payment to a later date. That's a lie. It's not a lie. That's the contract. You should check it. Wait. $30,000. That's too much. We don't have any guests. As you mentioned earlier, the ceremony hall itself is new and popular, so it's expensive. I consulted with the planner and chose the best time and day. I asked for the highest ranked albums and videos. You have five good photographers who shoot and edit with the best equipment. Lovely, isn't it? No, uh, I think it's lovely, but... Yes, Richard. He was originally going to be at the ceremony, so he'll pay for it, right? I don't know. I don't think he has that kind of money. It's my wedding. He'll pay, I promise. Shouldn't you talk about it before the ceremony? It's the day, and you can't cancel it now, but... Otherwise, you'll regret it later. Oh my, another sore loser at a time like this. Oh, the planner is calling. Back to the preparations. See you. Hey, Sophia. I got a bill of $30,000. What are you going to do about it? Richard doesn't have that much either. You can't just force me to pay. You made such a ridiculously expensive plan, so pay half. Don't be ridiculous. I don't see the point of paying for a wedding I didn't even have. Oh, I can't pay 15000 even if I split with Richard. Oh, by the way... The alimony you will pay is set at $10,000. I'll charge you, so pay properly. What? Even $15,000 is impossible. Where did $10,000 come from? It's too expensive. I won't pay for that. $10,000 is within the market range. How much will Richard's alimony be if I am $10,000? Well... 15,000. About 21,000. I'm sorry you're doing the math, but Richard is a spendthrift. Don't count on him. If you don't work hard, you're going to fall together, okay? Hey, what? Now you're going to talk bad about him? Richard and I love each other. We'll get over the money problem. You're taking the blame on us because you weren't happy yourself. He's going to be unemployed soon. Erica, good luck supporting him. Ah, uh, what do you mean by unemployed? What do you mean? Oh, didn't you hear from Richard? He was having an affair not only with you, but also a woman he worked with. He got fired from his job when they found out. He'll be unemployed when the handover is over. Ah, uh, seriously? He... It seems that the woman he worked with was also married. It's hard to pay alimony. Wait a minute. I don't know what you mean. The woman he works with? Alimony? Are you panicking? Yes, I'm afraid I didn't expect a three-way. The husband of that woman seems to be very angry. I heard that he is charging a lot of alimony. From now on, you're both in debt. But if you love each other that much, it looks okay. Get through it with the power of love. Wait, wait. I don't know. What are you talking about? I haven't heard anything from him. A woman besides me? He said he loved me, even at the wedding. He said it a lot. 
Those words were all lies. Anyway, all you can do is pay in full. Wedding and alimony, you'd better pay early. As I said, Richard is a spender. Will you be paying for him? Don't tease me like that. I can't afford alimony, let alone a wedding without savings. And what does it mean he's unemployed? He... he is useless. I won't forgive him. Even if you find out that Richard is a piece of waste, you still have to pay the ceremony fee and alimony. Uh, hey, can you forgive me? I'm also paying for the wedding. I didn't plan. So, will you do without alimony? Hey, please. You don't know anything. You and Richard had the wedding, right? You two deserve to pay. Well, that's... You set the plan. You're the one who got married. As for the alimony, you had an affair with Richard, so you deserve to pay that too, right? If you really don't want to... If I don't... I can take you to court. It's even worse. I don't really know about trials and it sounds difficult and scary, you know? Absolutely no. Hey, Sophia... Will you forgive me? I'll give you back Richard. I think I did something really wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. Forgive me. Sophia, I'm so sorry. I'll do anything if you forgive me. No thanks. I don't want to be involved with you or Richard anymore. I'm going to delete your contact information. Wait a minute, please. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. I deleted Erica and Richard's contact information shortly after that. Those two seemed to have gotten into a big fight because of Richard's other woman, and they were on the verge of catastrophe. But while they were doing that, it seems she really got pregnant. They've registered for the baby, and they're living together. Well, it was a predatory marriage after an affair, so it seems that no one around helped them, even their family. That's right. It's hard to give birth, raise an infant, work and pay off debts. Richard still seems unreliable, and I'm glad she took that plague in. You're a good person, Erica. I'm grateful. <laughs>